In this video tutorial, we're going to create a simple calculator in PHP with assistance from ChatGPT. If you are new to ChatGPT, where have you been? ChatGPT is an AI tool developed by OpenAI to help answer questions. It was released recently, but already gaining grounds. So this video is going to show you how ChatGPT is going to generate a code for us to use on our project. Okay, I have a video talking about ChatGPT in the description or even in the card. Remember to check that out. So let's wait for ChatGPT to generate this code. But before that, let me take you to the web browser and show you this calculator, how this calculator works. So I'll simply take you to our web browser and this is the calculator chat gpt generated for us i simply copied the code chat gpt generated for me and pasted it inside my code editor and then executed it so this is my code and then it's a calculator you can enter a number here and then pick an operator either plus minus multiplication or division like this and then add another number to it after we enter our numbers we click on calculate and chat gpt will go ahead and spit out the result so this is a simple calculator in php i built using chat gpt let's try another operator so two multiply by four and then we execute this code and you can see it spits out the result so let me take you to chat gpt and show you how it works welcome to chat gpt's interface this video is not to show you how to set up chat gpt it is to show you how you can ask chat gpt to generate code for you to use on your projects if you are new to chat gpt i have a dedicated video talking about chat gpt how to set it up how to use it as a student i have those videos in card or in the description or on my channel remember to check them out so in this part of the video we're going to ask chat gpt to generate a code for us to build our calculator so all we need to do is to go to chat gpt and then ask chat gpt to Build a simple calculator. Calculator in PHP. After that, hit enter, and Chat GPT will go ahead and generate this code for you to use on your project. Okay, this tool is amazing, and as you can see, it is generating a code for us. To use on our projects is that not amazing let's wait for it to generate the complete code so we can copy it to our code editor and then make changes to it if you're a developer this is a great tool you can use to enhance your work don't see this tool as an ai that is coming to replace your job I have another video talking about or clearing developers out on as to whether ChatGPT will come and replace their jobs. Okay, remember to check that video too out. Okay, so this is a code ChatGPT generated for us. So on top here, just click on copy code. Perfect. We have copied our PHP code. What next? If you are not new to PHP, executing this code will not be a problem. But to those of you who are new to PHP, there are three things you need to set right in order for your PHP code to run. Because PHP is a server-side scripting language. And so you will need a server, something like an offline server. You also need code editor and then you need a browser. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to set these things up. All right. 
make sure you have a code editor like Visual Studio Code, brackets, sublime text, or any code editor you feel comfortable working with. You're watching this video because you're already a developer. That's why you're watching this video. Next, you need an offline server called Exam. We have others, but Exam is the one we're going to be using in this video. And of course, you need a browser in order to see what is happening with your code to see your result. Okay. So these are the three things we need to set right. I have installed these three programs onto my device. And so I will not go and start installing these programs again. So all we need to do is to launch our programs. The first program I will launch is my code editor, which is here, Visual Studio Code. Next, we need to launch our offline server called exam and this is my server apache my sql make sure you start your server first it's going to be offline this way make sure you start it like this perfect so make sure these two modules are opened apache very very important and my sql very important okay good once you have those two modules running next we need to go to a directory called htdocs so i'll take you to local drive go to local dex and then go to exam after that navigate to htdocs and inside here we're going to create a new folder so right click and then create a new folder called calculator okay so you put calculator there or cal this is going to be our new folder cal after that go inside it and then inside here we're going to create our php file right okay so in order to do that go back and then drag this particular folder to your code editor this way and drop it here so this is a way of importing this is a way of importing your folder into your code editor which is dragging and dropping it inside here so now we have our project folder ready to go next we need to create our php file through our code editor in our case we are using visual studio code so click on new file and then here put calculator dot php fantastic now the code we copied we're going to paste it inside here okay so to copy your code go back to your web browser and then copy your code the code gpt chat gpt generated for us and then we'll go back to our code editor and then paste our code here fantastic now let's go and see how this will be executed so i'll take you to the web browser and then we need to type localhost okay so type localhost like this After you type localhost in your web browser, you will see all the files inside the htdocs and the file you also created, the folder you created inside that big folder will also be shown here. You can see, cal. Let me take you back to htdocs and you can see this htdocs with all those executable PHP folders. You can see them. And this is the one we created and then when we take, 
when we go back to our web browser you can see our folder is also here so let's go ahead and click on it and it will take you to another subdirectory remember we created a php file inside called calculator.php this is where our code is our executable code is go ahead and click on that before we test our program before we test it let's thank the sponsors for today's video makigo host is a high speed and a modern web hosting provider and domains registrar makigo host is currently giving free dot com domain name registration for one year if you act now my blogging website webbuilders.com is hosted on makigo host service and the speed is amazing you can check my blogging site for yourself when you use 250 as a promo code which i'll leave in the description of this video you get 50 percent of web hosting from makigo host you can see 50 percent of one time discount and you'll be paying 18 dollars for one year to host your website and then renew as normal at a normal price what are you waiting for take that website idea online today with makigohost.com now let's test our program our calculator so you enter a number here let's say 20 and then you enter another number say 10 and then you pick an operator which is addition and then you click on calculate and you can see this program will spit out the result you can see that enter another number say five another number four and then you pick another operator let's say multiply and you calculate and it will give you 20. i have interesting videos about chat gpt to be uploaded onto this channel so keep an eye on this channel by subscribing thank you very much for watching this video See you later.